What up, guys? Darnell here with Matt Washington Sports Cards, coming to you with a uh, early morning or early Saturday morning video. Um, went to the job today. I uh, was going to teach some guys to weld, but nobody showed up, so here I am. I uh, figured I'd come home, uh, do a little video. With baseball season right around the corner, I thought we would do a video today of, uh, you know, just talking a little baseball. Uh, and going through some of the the cards in my collect baseball cards in my collection that you know kind of kind of close dear and dear to my heart uh, just cards in my collection that I like uh, I am an avid <laughs> Andrew Benintendi collector for the Boston Red Sox so I'll try not to uh, flood this video with with just some of my some of my favorite cards of him and I got some other ones in here that I like to show y'all uh, so. Let's get started. So first off, we'll start with an Andrew Benintendi. Uh, this is a uh, booklet, so you can see it's three panels. Uh, it's autographed, and it has a, a garment piece uh, from his jersey. Uh, this is out of 2018 Gypsy Queen. Uh, pretty hard card to get. Uh, this is a an actual redemption from Topps. So what Topps does is they'll put redemption cards in there. If a player hasn't signed yet, and they have, and Topps hasn't received them back, what they'll do is they'll put a redemption card in there. You uh, redeem the code, and then when the card uh, arrives back to Topps, they'll mail it out to you. So this was a redemption. Uh, glad this one actually come back. Uh, I've got a couple Benintendis right now that are sitting in Topps right now that have been there probably for over a year. Um, not asking for a replacement card yet because I really want the card that um, that I'm waiting on. But this is, uh, like I said, a booklet, three panel booklet. Benintendi. This is a uh, 20 out of 20. I don't know if you can see that there if the camera will focus in on that. But there are only 20 of these. Um, give a big shout out. I cannot remember uh, the page on. Um, eBay where I got these but these cases are custom made for these little small booklets as you can see they're not as tall as uh, a normal card a uh, normal card is is two and five eighths inches by three and five eighths I think uh, so these cards are considerably uh, shorter about two and a quarter inches tall so uh, these uh, this company makes nice custom books uh, cases so you can find these on eBay I think this case was like $12 but you know uh, I am a firm firm believer in protecting your cards uh, no sense of having you know uh, a huge couple hundred dollar card and a top loader or whatever I, I'm a firm believer in a mag uh, if it if it has a shiny surface on it like a prism or something like that uh, something you can do with the mags is put your card in a mag if you want to protect it that way and slide a, a penny sleeve in over top of it and then shut the mag uh, and that'll protect the card from sliding around and getting scratches on the surface and things like that you know if you're uh, going to send it off to be graded if you're going to send it off to be graded uh, to uh, PSA or or Beckett then go ahead and put it in a top loader or the the grading big grading sleeves that they make um yep so all right next one we'll look at is this is uh ronald acuna jr mini autograph out of allen and 2018 allen and ginner uh got this card in the trade for my good buddy stewart appreciate it buddy uh he is a uh, up-and-coming collector uh so um he is uh looking to collect Aaron Judges so I traded him a, a whole stack of Aaron Judge uh, rookie cards uh, for the Acuna um, to me the way this kid played last year in his rookie season uh, this this kid has huge 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 upside I feel like uh, this kid is gonna is gonna be a stud so uh, definitely wanted to pick up one of his rookie autographs to have in the PC uh, to see where this guy goes in future in his career <clears throat> picked this up a couple weeks ago at my local card shop um, uh, through the decades uh, in Hurstbourne Lane in Louisville, Kentucky. 
this is a Frank Thomas uh, USA uh, red variation to 10. Uh, just a super, super clean card. Just beautiful. Uh, in his old school USA uniform back when Frank was looking slim back in his younger days. Uh, just a beautiful card. Flawless, or Panini Flawless is just a beautiful set of cards. So, um, awesome. Love this card. So, Topps, Topps releases his product called Clearly Authentic. Uh, they make um, archives, signatures uh, of current players. They make archive signatures of retired players. And normally when you buy these products where you get one card magged anywhere in the you know fifty to seventy five dollar range and you get one card. And I'm telling you this pro these products are very, very uh hit and miss. But you know what? If you're gonna be a card collector, you're gonna buy wax, things like that, those are chances you just have to take. Uh so uh bought some boxes that clearly authenticated. Uh took a took a swing. And uh, just going to say it, it paid out to get this card. Uh, this is a uh, clearly authenticated uh, uh, Bo Jackson Auto, 25 of 70. This is a very, this is a, uh, like a reprint, kind of, if you will, of uh, an 80s tops uh, Bo Jackson card. Uh, as you can see, it is clear. You can definitely see what's going on behind here. They call this the acetate. Uh, this card is beautiful. Uh, you know, it's it's not a huge dollar card, nothing like that. That's one thing I uh, I'm big on is you know collect what you like, collect what you love, uh, guys you enjoyed as a kid watching, you know, guys that you enjoy watching today. Those those are the cards uh, to collect. You know, just don't make this hobby about the money. If you're if you're gonna make this about the money, man, you're in it for the wrong reasons. I feel like. Um, just a love of the sport, love of the hobby. That's what it's all about. And, you know, I always loved and enjoyed watching Bo Jackson. So I hit this. I was pretty excited. Next, uh, you know, this is this is a very minimal card in my collection. Like I said, I collect what I like. But I was a huge, huge, huge Jose Canseco fan growing up as a kid. And not a lot of people know uh, Jose did play for my Red Sox back in the late 90s. Uh, so this is, I had to pick up a, a Topps Archives snapshot autograph uh, of Jose in his Red Sox uniform. Uh, so this is pretty good. In my sports room, I got it set up in my house. I got a uh, autographed jersey on the wall of, of Jose in his A's uniform. Of course, you got to have that. And I also have a uh, autographed jersey of Jose for the Red Sox. So you know that's it's pretty special. I like that stuff. And this. Big Poppy, National Treasures, 101, uh, Tag Auto. Uh, hit this in a break on Nasty Breaks. Uh, pretty pumped about this. Uh, Big Poppy is a stud, dude. I mean, there ain't nothing you can't say about Big Poppy. He's just a beast. Uh, really enjoy this card. Next up, you know, it's just the little things in collecting, man. This is a... Uh, 2018 Tops High Tech. Uh, this is the Galactic Variation. You can't really see it in these cameras, but uh, the different yellow pattern back through here has uh, like a reflective uh, background and pattern in it. And this is the Galactic One of One. Uh, there is about six or seven different variations of the of the pattern backgrounds and colors of this. Uh, and this is the Galactic, Galactic version, and this is the one of one uh, Hit this in a pack at my local card shop. Um, just definitely going to have to say that uh, Topps High Tech was definitely good to me this year. Uh, in a box, I hit this one of one I hit a Sandy Koufax uh, one of one um, I've hit uh, Joe Adele, um, up-and-coming uh, local guy here uh, from Kentucky. Uh, so... I'm really a big fan of, of Topps High Tech and Bowman High Tech, everything. They make good product. I like it. I'm going to skip this one for the moment. Hit this in a pack. Uh, you can't really see it, but this is uh, Nick Senzel. 
This is also out of this is out of Bowman High Tech actually, and this is the Monofoil ref Mojo Refractor. Uh, this is to five. Uh, hit this card in a pack. Uh, instantly sleeved it. Uh, definitely put this in the back uh, and had it sent off. Uh, this is actually four out of five for some of you, you know. Um, uh, the number 45 is, is special to me in my heart. So when, I, when I'm finding cards that are like four or five, different things like that, I always try to get the four out of five. And it just, for some reason, these... When I see a card, I'm like, oh man, I like to get that. It stands out to me when it's four or five. So uh, this is definitely uh, a good card. Um, this kid has huge upside. Uh, I feel like this kid uh, deep down is going to be a stud and is going to be good. Uh, so starting a little side PC uh, of this guy, and I'm going to pick up a few of his cards because uh, I think he's really good. As long as the Reds don't make a mistake and ship him out, you know. The Reds are known to ship off their prospects. So, Ben Nintendi, uh, Auto, Ash Wood. This is out of uh, 2000 set, 2017 Tops. This is the 87 Tops autograph, uh, kind of of a throwback type to some of the the cards from the the 80s. This card is a BGS 9510. Uh, this card is to 10. This is nine out of 10. I just love like the gray hue uh, of the Ashwood look. Really enjoy this card. Kind of like I've said a few times in in this video so far, it, it's click what you like. It ain't got to be about the big cards, just the cards that you like. And this is one of my favorite cards for some reason. This is uh, 2017 Bowman Chrome. Uh, this is the Gatorade variation of Andrew Benintendi. Uh, hit this card in a break got it to me. I was like, man, this card's in really good shape, so I figured I'd send it off and get graded. It graded uh, a 10. We're a .5 off a of black label. Whew. But hey, I take it. It ain't all about that. I love this card, so anytime I got a, uh, a chance of picking these up at a good deal, I always grab them because I really enjoy this, this variation of this card. Now, <clears throat> this is one of my favorite cards in my collection. I just... I love the styling of the card. The card is actually metal. Uh, it's got a nice little AB autograph on there. Uh, this is 2017 Topps Collection Museum. Uh, this is the framed collection. Uh, this card is uh, 5 out of 5. Um, and just the black look of this card and, and the overall just appearance of this card is just... I, I like it. I love it actually. I mean, it's 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 probably one of my favorites. Um, I ha I have, I have the very five of five variation of this. I have the ten variation, the fifteen variation. So now all I'm from having the complete rainbow is the one of one of this. If you have it, hit me up. We'll work a deal. Try to figure out something. I'll let you boy. Uh, but the one of one variation is actually wood framed. Um, and I really like that that one in my collection. So, probably out of the current modern day cards now, uh, this is probably one of my favorite cards. It's basic, it's plain, it's simple. It don't, you know, have all the bells and whistles and all the fancy stuff of a lot of other cards, but this is uh, one of my favorite cards. This is 2015 Bowman Chrome Draft. Uh, Andrew Benintendi. This is the Refractor. Uh, autograph. It's also BGS 95. Trying to catch, not catch some of these glares on these lights. Um, just it's plain and simple. Uh, you know, Bowman Chrome is king of baseball, but you know, just I really enjoy this card. Uh, I have the regular in the 95. I have the refractor in the 95, and I'd like to pick up uh, just any variation of this in a BGS 10 uh, or a PSA 10. I mean, um, really like that that to the collection. So. This is a fun card. So, now, we'll hit to some of the other Benintendis. Like I said, I was trying not to make this video Benintendi heavy, but, you know, hey, you like who you like, and you want to collect what you want to collect. So, this is a National Treasures uh, branded logo uh, autograph 101. So, this is the 101 with the Nike swoosh on there. 
uh, Benintendi in his Arkansas uniform. Uh, this is also uh, a from a redemption, but a redemption from Panini. As you can see, it's still sealed in the Panini uh, tag. Uh, love this card. Uh, this card is pretty awesome. Actually, uh, got I think I can't remember if we got this one in a break or if a guy hit it in a break and we bought off of him in through the break. Uh, but I love this card. Let's, let's hit a couple of these National Treasures. This is another National Treasures out of the same product, uh, but this was is with a 101 uh, tag or 101 patch autograph uh, from National Treasures. Um, I've searched and searched and searched all over a Boston Red Sox uniform and cannot figure out what part of the jersey uh, this tags off of. So I'm not sure if it maybe if it was a specialty jersey with with some kind of uh, specialty patch or something on there. But if anybody can help and know exactly where this piece of jersey is from, off the jersey, uh, let me know. Uh, you know I could have looked over something. You know you're searching so hard for something. You know it's easy to overlook look at when it's right in front of your face. Is a snake bit you. All right, so this is a card that I chased probably for a year, trying to find the right price, trying to find you know somebody that worked with me on a, on a deal uh, to where I could be able to afford this card. Because uh, this is this is a card that's you know got a little bit of value to it, but I really like it. This is out of 2018 Gypsy Queen. This is Andrew. Uh, Benintendi bases around the league, uh, so this is an actual piece of a base, um, for, you know, from a game. This little silver sticker you see on this card is actually the verification from MLB Baseball. So it has a little code on here. You can scan the code or type in the code, and it will actually tell you from what game this piece of memorabilia is from, and it also acts as an authentication. Uh, so this card, this card is a, a really fun card to have, and this card is uh, to also to twenty. Uh, Gypsy Queen is one of my favorite baseball products. Um, I was able to acquire uh, one autograph of Ben Attendees out of every insert set, um, you know, in this set of cards. So this is this is one of my favorites. It's a good card. Oh, I'm about to say something. Excuse me. <laughs> Ooh, damn. Hmm. All right, so this is a Benintendi autograph, two of four, and this is from the Industry Summit. So, um, they they have a they have a, a summit every year for or every few years. I can't really remember exactly, uh, but it's just for the big boys of the industry, the manufacturers, uh, the licensing people. You know, all the all the the high upper echelons of the, of the card world. So this is for them, and this card actually uh, come from there. This is two of four autograph. Uh, I think this is a pretty cool card. All right, so now we're going to pull out a card that is really near and dear to my heart. Uh, this is probably the, the most famous, or, you know, um, I'm trying to figure out how I want to put this. This is probably the best card in my collection, in my opinion, because this is the one that is closest near and dear to my heart. This is a 1986 Topps Roger Clemens rookie card. Uh, you know, not the most expensive card in the world by any means, but this is the card that probably means the most to me in my collection. Um, this card was bought uh, by my grandfather. Uh, me and him went to the card shop uh, the day, Suburb Collectibles in Fern Creek, uh, Kentucky, uh, right up the road uh, from the little town we live in. Uh, seen this card in the card shop. Uh, granddaddy, I can remember Granddaddy telling me a little story about Roger Clemens and you know how good of a pitcher he is and and you know so uh, he wanted me to have this definitely in my collection. So we got it and you know this is probably this is the card. Uh, I also have this card graded um, as well, but this is the original card from from that day when we went to the card shop and he bought it. So. This is a uh, card that is very, very special to me. Like I said, you know, it's not the big cards. It's not the big money card. But this is this is the type of card. This is what the hobby is about. This is what sports car collecting is about. It's finding the cards that you love, 
finding the cards that you're passionate about and you know cards that mean something to you and bring back the memories and something you want to hold on to uh, so this is this is by far probably my favorite card in my collection you know i have a michael jordan rookie card i you know i have some nice stuff but you know that that stuff is you know this is this is the top tier card to me in my collection so um you gotta have reasoning behind things that you do, and and this is the this is one of the reasons that keeps me going in this in this hobby is because I love um, the memories that these cards brings, and and you know the memories that watching these players growing up, uh, and watching these players today that just really make you enjoy the sport and love the sport uh, and make you want to do this. So this is an awesome card. All right, guys. So baseball season right around the corner wanted to bring you some cards in my pc show you some baseball stuff uh hope everybody has a good saturday and a good weekend see y'all go red Sox.